everybody welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts I hope you're all well so I'm gonna have a quick go today at the um, challenge for uh, Roxy's weekly challenge and she is doing this week um, tall long tall tall tags uh, collaged with um, some stamping and some labels on them um, so I'm gonna carry on with my book that I showed you all in my last video where I've been collaging and I'm going to do some now plain backgrounds so that I can do some stamping on them. Now, please don't laugh. As ever, Madam Not Organised, I just, well, I wanted to do this video hours ago um, and then realised that I'd run out of <laughs> glue stick because the other stuff's no good for doing this, is it? And then um, I had to wait for my son to get home from school and then I actually nodded off in front of the fire, asleep on the sofa. It's not much good really, is it? Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit late now getting on with this, but that's okay, that's okay. So I have had to borrow my son's glue stick, bless him, from his uh, school stationery uh, pencil case. He's a good boy. I just ran in there and he was on a, on a call to his friend. I love that they, they have these, like, these headset calls, don't they? And I was like, oh, sorry, love, don't mean to disturb. He's got a glue stick. I was like, really, man? You need a glue stick? Yeah, sure, in my bag. Great, no, your kids are not shocked that you need them to punch their stationery. All right, let's try that at a different angle there, I think. No, let's go across there, I think. I like that font. No, let's go in the same way. No, no, we're going to go as I originally thought. We'll go that way. Oh, look, look at me. I promised myself I wasn't going to faff. I'm already faffing. Right, Rachel, stop faffing. Let's just get this on the page because I really, really, really want to... Um, have a go at some stamping. Oh, look, we've got a bit of Romeo and Juliet there. Very nice. It's one of our book pack pages. So I've just yet again proven how um, utterly daft I am by, um, I have a, a steamer, vegetable steamer. I don't know if you, I, I don't know what, the, if there's another word for them, but that's basically what, um, actually, I'm going to put all of that down there. I'm going to go that far, I think. Um, and I, I'm always wandering around. Well, not wandering around. I sound like something ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not lost in my kitchen, um, but I'm always looking around. I should say, not wandering around. I'm always looking around for something, my jug or something, to fill up with water, to tip water into the... Um, the, uh, the steamer in the bottom, because you've got to fill the reservoir, haven't you, in the bottom. Um, and I was just sat, stood there then this evening thinking, Rachel, why don't you just take the steamer base to the sink and fill the base before you go and plug it in? Oh, I just, you know, when you just have those moments, you just think, like, I really am very, very dim at times. So I did have a little chuckle to myself in the kitchen. <laughs> just like, hmm, okay. Getting stranger by the minute. It's not good. It's not good. But there we are. Well, you can't laugh at yourself, or can you laugh at it? Eh? That's what I always think. So, yeah, like I say, anyway, I was supposed to have been doing these um, much earlier on today, but uh, I couldn't find any glue stick. So, I need to order some glue stick. Fancy me running out. That's because I did all that collaging last week about this look. Um, so, yeah, I need to get some more in. I hope they've got some in stock now. Ooh -hoo. So I do like my ooh -hoo. Although, that being said, I think this is from uh, Asta. But it's... Well, I see it's doing the job. We'll see if it's all still on there when I turn the page back over in a bit. Because we just don't know, do we? Can't do anything for granted. <laughs> Might come in in the morning and it'll all just fall off. Highly unlikely, I know. But you just never know, do you? Right, where's that other text? I love this stuff here. I think this text is amazing on here. I'm sure this is one of the books that I got when we went away on holiday last year um, to Devon, I want to say. And Shaw and myself went down to um, Tintagel to see the castle. You know, Arthur, Knights of the Round Table and all that jazz. It was great, by the way. If ever you're down that way, highly recommend it. It was a bit of a drive from where we were staying because it's actually in Cornwall. But um, 
Sorry if I confused you there. But yeah, it was uh, it was a great day. But while we were there, we went to uh, there's like a little um, post office there. Well, it was a post office, and um, we went and had nose around. I think it's uh, National Trust now. I'm just trying to think, or English Heritage House. I think it was. Um, and they had uh, books for sale there. And somebody had just brought in a load of these foreign books, um, foreign language books, and they were literally selling them for a pound. And I was like, oh! So I walked, they had them all on sale in the garden, of all places. Until Cornwall has nicer weather than we do. So I um, literally just came back in with my hands full. The lady was laughing at me. She was like, oh, you like reading, do you? Does anybody speak? I think they were German. Does anybody speak German in your house, sir? I was like... Um, well, we are, we're learning. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to her. No, I'm going to use them to tear up those book pages. But I thought, oh, well, whatever, isn't it? Whatever, as our mum says. I did actually tell her off saying that to me yesterday. <laughs> we were editing a, a YouTube video. And my mum does have this um, rather dreadful habit of when she, you say something and she's like, oh, all right, whatever. And it really annoys me because the kids do it to me. And I'm like, please don't do that. Please don't say whatever. She was like, no, oh, honestly. I was like, no, it's really quite annoying. But uh, yeah, we had a giggle anyway. The video's all done. It's all ready for tomorrow. Or today, I should say. Yes, by the time this goes up, it'll be the next day, I expect. Um, so yeah, she's uh, all ready to have her collab video go up. So make sure you check it out. Um, I hope you're enjoying the collaboration. Seems to be going very well. Um, just get that one down there, isn't it? I don't want to do loads and loads and loads of these. I'm more interested in the next bit. What comes next? Yes, that's what we want us to do, don't we? It's actually much easier to just pop the page down. Gosh, that's a thin page. And then, tea. There we go. I'm going to be trying to faff. And it's quite nice to have the, the white bit on there because it um, gives you some bit stamp on then, doesn't it? Right, where are my two? Where are my two? There we go. Okay, and then. problem that happens there we go okay and then the last bit up here which page shall I put up there something Ooh, let's have one of these bits because this is an interesting font on here isn't it shall we pop that bit there there we go try not to have any waste only tear off what we need I know this probably looks really cat candid way of doing this. Golly, that's the first time I've just looked in my lens. I was going to say, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe you'll be best not, not watching what I'm doing because I'm doing this really cat candidly. <laughs> I don't know. Everything I do seems to be awkward. But, but there we are. I know what I'm doing. As long as it works, that's the main thing, isn't it? I have a left handed child, so it's going to stand a reason that I do some things awkwardly because he gets it from somewhere well he gets it from my side of family um but i do do some things i do do i do do some things a little strangely not strangely but it's like i can't make up my mind which way i'm doing something my grandfather was ambidextrous and um, i do tend to dig holes with my other hand i'm not sure how relevant that is i don't go around burying bodies or anything don't be alarmed um when i'm gardening obviously right, let's try and get out of there now with the least amount of trauma. Okay. What? Oh, I don't know. That page is starting to rise already now. Perhaps, perhaps I didn't put enough glue on. And then that one there. Right. Okay. Let's shuffle that to the side a second. Oh, and I was going to take out one of these that I'd done previously because... As we're doing this, I thought I might do one or two in my other theme. 
also in my Valentine's. Because that's what's on my desk. That's what I'm going to use. Okay. Right. So I'm going to now use my decorative cutter. Because I love it. There we are. That's okay. I should say. So I've um, cut them out. I wanted to save you the noise. I cut them all out using my decal edge cutter. Um, and I've also inked around them already again just to save you a bit of irritating noise. So what I'm going to just try and do now, I don't have many um, good sized ink pads in different colours. But I have this pack here of the little tiny ones. So like I say, I'm working on um, kind of springy colour uh valentine -y things at the moment because i'm just testing out our kits with us so i'm gonna have a go at using some of my kind of botanically stamps um but with um like valentine -y colors you know reds and pinks so i'm just gonna see how it goes because i'm gonna be using those labels so i'm just gonna um do some stamping um with my stamps <laughs> That sounded really technical then, didn't it? Um, and we will see how these go. Um, I, found all these, I found these in the back of the drawer, so I'm not quite sure how good they are. But we'll give them a go. I'm going to have a little look. Oh, that looks quite nice. So like I say, we're kind of going for a, um, a uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a botanical theme. However, um, It'll fit in with my reds and pinks theme for um, my Valentine-y things. Oh, I quite like that on there. Right, let me just wipe that off for a minute. Or oh, they'll be forever pink, these stamps, won't they? Right, there we go. Let's give that a quick wipe. I've already got gold paint on my block. Right, just take that one off there a second then. Okay, um, let's try this large one here a second then. Put that one on there. Um, yes, now let's do this one in a full on red. Oh, let's try that one. No, that one's not either. I evidently haven't used these, but there we go. So I don't know what the colours are going to be like, but it's got to be worth a go, hasn't it? And I just thought, well, Let's just try something slightly different because it is February and uh, it would be good to see if the theme kind of will cross over. So let's pop this one down here. I'm going to do this one sideways too because I just think that would look so cool. There, on top of Romeo and Juliet. Ooh! I like that. I think that looks really cool. I'm going to use that one again over here now. Yes, 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 yes. So cool. Okay. <laughs> Please excuse my very poor uh, ink pads, but we can't knock them because they're doing the job. Um, I'm going to pop this one over here now, I think. On top of this one here. Perhaps I'll put it slightly... The... Oop. I hope that's straight on there now. Oh, there we go. Marvellous. Right, let's clean that off a bit. I think I'm going to have to put these in the, in the sink. Because this colour just isn't going to come off easily. I can see it. Okay, right. Um, what one next? Well, maybe now I'm going to try out one of these. Now, these are from um, your creative studio. Um, and yeah, I'm sure that's where it's come from. Sorry, I went quiet then. I was listening because my cooker's on. And if I'm really quiet, I can hear the beep, 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 beep when the food's done. I don't want to burn my son's tea. I do that a lot, believe it or not. Do any of you burn tea very often? Terrible. I'm always burning tea. Oh, well, that's very interesting. I quite like that. I couldn't quite work out what that was on there, but yes, I do quite like that. Okay. Um, oh, and then we've got this little wallflower. I love this one. This is one of my favourites, this is. 
is it a wallflower? It's a, um, what are they called? Oh, I can't remember anyway, but it's very nice. So perhaps I'll do that one in red as well. It's, like I say, it's something a bit different, isn't it? I don't think that's gonna stick on there now. Is that? Stay, stay. Right, and then we'll put some labels on. Oh, that came out really well. I don't know why I've never thought of using different colours before. I was just, well, because I don't have any. That's why. That's why I don't use different colours. But I just spotted that then. I don't know why it was on the, by the side of the settee. There we are. Right, okay. Let's go and see what I can find in the bottom of the drawer, Ned. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few more. Um, add a few more. Uh, and then we will put some labels on oh I like that one okay well, let's leave that one for a second I want to try now these are some of my um, your creative studio uh, stamps let me get out there a minute oh. so I'm going to just try this one a minute because it's got a lovely rose on there and obviously I'm using um do some of these for my uh to go with my rose um kit for the month so let me just try and pop that one there a second mm, okay well that's not terribly bright right and i want to try now uh this side i want to do half of this butterfly and we'll see how that comes out um as well that would be amazing right i need something to go underneath here now so i don't need a desk and um, i think i'm going to do it on this one okay let's see if i can line this up okay Ooh, that looks good Right, um, let's just put, should we perhaps go with the other half on there maybe? Um, yes, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's put the other half on that one and then I can put some labels on and then we'll see if we need to do any more stamping. Sounds like a plan. Oh yes it does. Okay. Side, did I just do this side? Right. Let's put it down here this time just to mix things up a bit. Okay, there we go. Press, press, press. Ooh, I likey, likey. Very nice. Okay, right, let's have a look. So I've got some labels ready that I have inked ready just to kind of save us a little bit of time. Um, so let's see what we've got here. So I've got that nice big one there. I thought that might bring in a little bit of, you know, bring in a bit of our Valentine theme, a bit of romance. Since we are working on Romeo and Juliet here, which was a complete coincidence, by the way, which I didn't even dawn on me until I said. Um, and of course our kit is called Letters of Love. So I need to get some of those lovely little letters in there, don't I? Um, maybe, just maybe, we will put that there. And then this one, I definitely want this one to go here. Because I didn't uh, have enough paper to cover that, but that was fine because I had a feeling I could use that. Um, I know I should work on one at a time, but I just can't. <laughs> I like to multitask. So I think to myself, if you can do six, why not do six? Right, so what else have we got here? Let's move that a minute. So I've got some nice little stamps. I've got the flags, I've got the ticket. Right, okay, so we've got a large version of that. 
I don't know if that's going to go on anywhere. Might be a bit big. What are we thinking? Hmm. Oh. I'm thinking I should put the lid on my ink. I'll explain to you what those are on the top in a moment. Um, no, don't like that there. What about here? What about half of it? Yeah, because it's a bit big. I'm going to do... Uh, I watched Margaret do hers earlier and... It, Interesting, she used her decorative cutter to slice one of her tickets in half. And I was like, oh, whoa, wouldn't have thought of that. I would have just struggled and torn. But it looked really cool. Wow, there we go. So thank you for that tip, Margaret. Mm, what have I done with my... Oh, I've left it downstairs now, I? This is the only trouble when you wander around with your crafty items. I was downstairs inking watching the tv there we go yes 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 definitely yes okay so now i'm thinking i'm going to put one of these maybe there because we'll go back in and stamp a bit more afterwards then but i just wanted to kind of place some labels in what about putting that over that join there yep looks good and a pink label here then maybe we go here with it or maybe we go there with it or there with it hmm. there with it looks like a postage stamp if i put it up there or 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 there no definitely not there oh look at me overthinking i actually quite like it there I like the balance. Someone's going to scream, no, it shouldn't go there. I don't know. I don't work off systems like that with my things. I just think if it pleases the eye, go for it. But it's all down to personal, uh, personal preference, isn't it, at the end of the day? What are you trying to achieve? I love this label. I'd like it on an edge. On an edge. I would, unless I take that one off and pop that one there. But I don't want it, that's better. I don't want it resting on that. Okay. And then, um, mum, 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 mum. Have a stamp. I wonder if I could put a stamp there just to kind of give it a bit of a play on, you know, letters of love. It meant to look like a letter. So we're putting a stamp in the top right hand corner. Yeah, works for me. And then perhaps I'll put one there. But then should I put that one across there if I'm going to put that up there? Mm, I'm not sure about that one there. It's a bit vibrant. Oh, that's probably better actually. Yes. Right. Um, what else have we got? And then perhaps there's an anti-antagonist. No, an antagonist. Is that the right word? I have no idea what I'm waffling on right now. I'm just thinking aloud. So please excuse me. I like that there. I wonder if I might cut the bottom off that. Um, I've left my sister downstairs as well. Golly gosh, Rachel. What are you doing? Literally just jumped up and run back at the stairs. Right, I'm gonna put those down because they'll spring open and frighten me to death. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Nope. Yes. Put that there. Okay. I think we've got enough on there for now. Right. I don't want to overdo it because we can finish off with a bit more stamping, can't we? Um, glue stick. Hmm. <laughs> Loaned glue stick, I should say, from my lovely little son. Well, oh, he's not so little anymore. Okay. Yes. And then this one. Oh. It's a soft closing glue stick. Okay. Okay. And then we'll put that one 
there. <laughs> I don't know if the grey is a confidence in this glue. It already feels like the bits are starting to move about. Normally when I glue something down, it like instantly grabs, doesn't it? Blimey, I went upstairs then and didn't order more glue. I must remember to do that now. I'm terrible, I leave everything to last minute. So, you should have, as I was saying, Bella's um, video now for the collaboration of tomorrow. And um, she is doing an amazing, amazing video. Don't miss it. She's giving us loads and loads and loads of tips on lace, where to get it, how to use it, how to change it, how to mix it up. Oh, yeah, brilliant. How she stores it. There's just so much information in that video. Um, and you do get to have a little glimpse at her stores. Um, and, uh, yeah, just lots and lots of tips. So make sure you check that out. Um, also, she's not got much opportunity at the moment to make lots of videos for her channel because, obviously, you may or may not know, um, they are getting ready to move house. So if you could... Please, please, please just show her your support by going and watching the videos that she's got on there at the minute. Um, she's worked really hard this year to get uh, her channel up and running. Um, and obviously then taking extended hiatus to move house. It's fairly inconvenient. Um, and it will then affect her. It's like she'll be coming back. She's starting all over again then. So uh, I know she would really, really appreciate uh, your support. Bella is the other half of Rich and Bella. Uh, Bella is mum, just in case you weren't aware of that. Um, and she has a channel called Bella's Crafty Studio. Now, if you go into the description box of any of our videos, you will see the link to her video, uh, her, not her video, her channel there. So um, I would really, really appreciate you um, checking out her channel if you haven't been there yet. Go over and give her a like and some comments on her videos, please. And if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to her channel um, because she has some amazing stuff on there and um, quite different in style to the things that I work with. Um, but she does things with, some amazing things with lace. And I think I put that sticker on the wrong way there down below. I don't think it was meant to go that side. Eh. I think it was meant to go there. I'll just go in there now anyway because I don't like it that way. Sorry. So, yes, lots of things. And uh, she also does some amazing stuff with Slow Stitch. So, um, please go and check out Mum's channel. Um, I know she would very much appreciate uh, you giving her the time. And tell her, I said hi. Tell her I sent you over. When you write a comment, say, Rachel's being bossy and she's sent us to your channel. Because she's always being bossy. Right, okay. Okay, so, labels are on. I'm not overly confident that that's going to stay on. I might have to re-glue that. Um, but anyway, enough whinging about the free glue. I'm now going to try out some of these little stamp stamps, um, which I've rather cheekily stuck on top of the stamp thing because I can't find my little tiny block. But this will do. Use what you've got, hey? There we go. Let me just wipe around the edge of that bit. Otherwise, I'm going to have a square on the page. And that will not do. And I'm just thinking, how can I see which way that goes? I put it that way. I'm going to pop that on there. Huh! How cool is that? Okay. And let's do another one then on that other stamp. There we go. Paid. Right. Um... Now, I don't want them all to be red. I'm going to do some stamping now in a different colour. Um, I want more black. I forgot I had this one. Oh, I'm fussing the drawer. Ah. Here's me going on. Oh, I don't have any different colours. Um, that's walnut stain as well. I forgot I had that one. 
that's been well used, that has. Right, okay, so where are they? Where's that? Um, I've got that one there and that one there. But I really feel like I should try this one. Oh, that looks very red. Right, I want to just test that on something um, in case it's not the kind of effect that I'm looking for because I really like these at the minute. I don't want to go random stamping now and then end up with something that I don't particularly think goes with my theme. Oh, that's very nice. But it is very red. It's a, it's. I think I bought it for a Christmas one. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I don't. Not say I don't like it. I do like it. I do like it. But it's not going to suit what I'm doing. So I'm going to just leave that one for now. And um, let me just wipe that off. But that'll teach me for telling fibbies and saying I didn't have any other colours because I clearly have a very very red one. I don't know why I bought a very red one. That must have been on somebody's Christmas recommendation video. Look. I don't think that's been used. But there we go. Right. Um, right, I'm gonna try some of these now. So let's see. Let's see if this one's any good. I'm just gonna test it on there a minute. Yes, that's fine. Good. There we are. Good job I checked as well because I'd have had it upside down. Right. So let's pop that one by there. Very nice, very nice indeed. And then, that one by there. Okay, and then perhaps we'll do one more with this one. Because I am kind of, you know, group stamping here. And I'm gonna just have that hanging just on the end of that label there. Okay, let's wipe me, wipe me stamp. Those are the ones of stained pink, I think. Blue and that pink ink. Pink ink! Right, then, what other one did I have out? Oh, I had that one out. Oh, I didn't wipe that one off. Quick, wipe it off, Rich. Oh, this one I had here then, didn't I? Um, where's the ink? Okie dokie. Just trying to see what that says on there. Oh, that's fine. Okay, let's pop that there. Oh, that was as clear as mud, wasn't it? <laughs> I was just thinking there, I'll read that now and then. No, Rach, because you just stuck it on top of a huge, really busy font. Honestly. <laughs> One on my own. One on my own today. I still can't read it. Oh, is it upside down? Yeah, it is. That's why. Received. That's what it says. That's all right. I thought it said deceased for a minute. I'm obviously not very good at reading stamps backwards. <coughs> but I did stamp it upside down. But that's okay. It looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. Right. Okay. Um, Shall we do some more of the florals? Yes, let's try this one, see if it'll stay stuck on my pad. They get a bit unsticky after a bit, don't they? These things, that's not gonna stay on there now, is it? I think I'm just gonna place it down and then I'll press on it with a... Let's pop it by there. <coughs> so sorry, I just really just cough right in your ear then. I did put my hand over my mouth, but even so, it's very annoying, isn't it? Ooh, that's quite nice. Okay, um, 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 um. right, what do I do with the rest of the stamps? Where are they? They're here somewhere under my desk. Do I have some ticket ones? <coughs> Sorry. It's all the talking. Um, but that's not what I'm after. No, I think I will go with... Okay. What's that is? Oh, oh, this one's pretty. This one's pretty. I like this one. And then, let's write some numbers. <coughs> so, let's 
sorry, I don't know where this cough's coming from. It keeps popping up here and there. Most inopportune times, I haven't brought a drink. And now I'm thinking about it. You know what's going to happen now? It's just going to keep on, isn't it? I'm going to just keep on wanting to cough. Because that's how it goes. It's like when you're in the middle of a video and you suddenly need to do a yawn. Oh, gosh, I was in church yesterday. <laughs> oh, you don't even just feel a yawn coming on. I had a scarf on and because uh, it's cold in church. And um, I had it up around my neck and my brother was preaching. And I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm going to yawn now. And it's just literally no indication on his sermon at all. It was a very good word, but I could just feel a yawn creeping up. And I thought, oh, he's going to look at me now because he'd already made one reference to me being a sibling. And yeah, that's a good point, actually. I need to have him on that. He made a comment yesterday in the middle of his sermon about me breaking all his stuff as a child. And I thought, I don't recall breaking any of his things. My brother and I, have, uh, my brother's 10 years older than me. Um, so you can imagine the kind of sibling warfare we went through as children. I'm the younger, so I obviously came along and disturbed all of the peace. Um well, it's not my fault. I came when I came. Do you know what I mean? I didn't ask to be born at that specific time. Um, but yes, I think it was held against me for a little while. But well, clearly there's still a grudge because he brought it up yesterday in his sermon. Tut, tut. Very unprofessional, I felt. And I did feel slight indignation when he made some comment about sibling rivalry and his little sister being irritating because she broke all his things. And I was like, hmm, no, I didn't. But after that, I then felt this yawn coming on and I was like... Oh, Oh my gosh, I'm going to yawn now. So I pulled my scarf up. And of course, the more you think about it, even tell you now about this yawn, I could feel I want to yawn. I bet you're yawning now, aren't you? Because <laughs> hey, my video is not that boring. But yeah, I, I could feel this yawn coming on. So I, I, I pulled my scarf up like that over my mouth. I thought, oh, you, won't, you won't notice now. And of course, then your eyes start to kind of like water a bit, don't they? As they do when you're trying to stifle a yawn. And then, of course, I did it once. And then, of course, I was still thinking of it. So then I wanted to yawn again. I'm going to yawn now. I can feel it coming on. I'm going to have to give myself permission to yawn now, I think. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my word, that was a big yawn. You all now have permission to yawn. <laughs> in fact, I need to know now how many of you just yawned. Please tell me in the comments. Is it true that yawns are contagious? Now, they say yawns are contagious if you're in the same room, but are yawns contagious if you hear somebody yawning? Because you can't see me yawning. Did you yawn then? <laughs> That's all I want to know from you today in the comments. Yes, Rach, I yawned. Because, I mean, this is like a... My goodness, this is like a, a scientific experiment going on here. Oh, I've already written, put it on there. Written it, huh? Look at me. Oh, I like this. Very nice. There we are. See, now they're coming along quite nicely now. Pop them on there too. Oh, good stamp lad. Stamp lad. It's great. See, I've had a yawn now, my brain's woken up. <laughs> Probably should have yawned at the beginning. I do apologise. Sorry, I do go through very quiet think thinking um pauses because my brain just can't, can't do both. Oh look, I've got a nasty reaction on my wrist now. I've had my watch on. The lemon thing is I must have had soap caught in it. Joe, you know I'm not gonna do any more to those. I'm actually I really like them. I think they look really nice. Is there anything missing? Have I missed anything? What What else did Rachel from Roxy Creations put on hers? I did mention I'm doing her challenge today, didn't I? I did say that at the beginning. Yeah, I did. Um, I really like those. I really do. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to overdo anything else. So, that is our um, week five, I believe, we're on challenge um, for tall tags. Um... And I know that they all tend to clip the corners on them, but I actually quite like mine like that. So <laughs> you could clip your corners, but I'm not going to. I'm so sorry for the coughing. That's just really annoying. I, I do apologise. I haven't brought a drink up. And of course, this is why I wasn't talking at first, because I could feel the cough come in. But there we are. Guys, if you enjoyed my video today, would you please, please, please leave me a like and um, and a comment and tell me if you yawned. Um, and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell so when I upload my videos in the future, it'll let you know. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to check out Bella's video. If you haven't already seen it, there will be a link down below to it. And also, if you've got a bit of time, if you want to go over and spend some of that time with Bella at her channel, I know she'd really appreciate it. But other than that, have a fantastic day, guys, and I will be back with you very soon. Take care now. Bye.